I'm Jack from Teacher Geek, and today we're going to build a hydraulic claw. To build your claw, you're going to need a few things, starting with the things that came in your kit. Four connector strips, two 6-inch dowels, four 3-inch dowels, six 2-inch dowels, a 3-inch section of slide stop, four zip ties, four blocks, two 4.5 milliliter cylinders, two cylinder screws, a 15-inch section of vinyl tubing, eight 1-inch screws, and four nuts. You're also going to need to supply a few things. Tape, a container of water, string, and a screwdriver. We're going to add food coloring to our water to make it easier to see. You're also going to want some recycling bin materials to make your grabber. Before we build a claw, we need to fill our cylinders. To do that, you're going to take each cylinder, put the end underwater, and pull it open. Uh-oh, my cylinder has air in it. To get the air out of your cylinder, you want to turn it so that the tip is facing up. That way the air bubble is next to the opening in your tube. Very carefully, close your cylinder until liquid starts coming out and then refill it with water. If you have air in your cylinders, they won't function as well. Now you're gonna take just one of your cylinders and connect the tubing to it. Then push on the cylinder to fill the tube with water. You're gonna push the cylinder until it's completely closed. To finish assembling my cylinders, I connect the tube to the other cylinder, and then I add a cylinder screw into the hole next to the tubing on both cylinders. That helps to keep the tubing from coming out. Now that your cylinders are done, test them out. Whoa! <laughs> I think your eyes go further out of your head than the cylinders do. <laughs> Next we're going to build the chopsticks. To make your chopsticks you're going to need two half strips. Don't have cutters? That's okay. You can also snap the strips. Next, take one of your half strips and screw it into a full strip so it's near the middle. Now screw on the other half strip. Now use another screw to connect the ends of your two half strips. Stop when the screw barely protrudes from the bottom because you need to add another strip. So you're going to take a full strip, line it up with the other full strip underneath that screw and finish driving that screw so that you attach it. Test it out. Next you're going to add hydraulics. Pop your cylinder pin into one of the holes of your strip. Then attach the red piston using a screw. Test them out. I don't like that mine are hanging sideways, so I'm going to add a piece of string to help support it and hold it up vertically. Much better. But don't stop there. Try changing your design. Move the screws around, move where your cylinder's mounted, and add end effectors. I'm going to use rubber bands on this one to make the ends more grippy. Nice. So what about all these other components? Well, you can use dowels in your design by pressing them into these holes with teeth in them, and it'll secure it in the hole. Or if you want them to slide, you can get a Teacher Geek reamer that takes the teeth out of the hole so dowels can slide and spin freely. Blocks let you hook up dowels to make 90 degree angles. Slide stop slides on the dowels and it can make a great end effector or it can stop it from falling through a reamed hole. There's a ton of different ways you can use these different parts. It's up to you to see how it's going to best fit into your build. But don't stop there. Change the design. Tinker with it. Make it your own. Until next time, happy making.
Thank you.